Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. We've got a really cool build today. We've got a 23 Ford T-Bucket. Now this car is a special build for a gentleman by the name of Larry. And I got a message from his son. He says, hey Paul, I love your work on the YouTube channel, etc. Do you think you could make something of my dad's 23 Ford T-Bucket? And I says, you know, I'd love to give it a try. So this is what we're gonna do today. The base we're starting with is a Johnny Lightning car. We're gonna go ahead and do a wheel swap. We're gonna modify the engine and we're gonna go ahead and paint it up the color of the original tea bucket that Larry owns. So go ahead and grab your favorite adult beverage and let's get started on this 23 Ford tea bucket. Here we go. The first thing we need to do is get this bad boy taken apart. Take out the engine here and we'll take out the base. Now the base of course is held on with one screw in this particular instance and there's a little clip in the very front near the firewall. Now we got to pop out the seat and the, the windshield. Now the seat is actually glued in. There's a bar across the bottom so it's really a, a little bit tedious to remove it. But be careful here because if you force it too much, you could crack or break something here. So here I'm pushing with both of my thumbs and pushing up, and then I can push it out. The windshield came off with no issues. There we go. We'll have to remove that little bit of glue on the bottom so it sits nice and flat when we're ready to put it back together. We'll drill out the post. Interior, we got a couple holes there from where there was a surfboard or some surfboards in there. The front end looks pretty good. I like that. Windshield, that looks good. And here's the base. Now, the wheels are really wide in this case, really far apart. Engine's in good shape, but we're going to have to change that intake manifold on top. Now, I had a request from Justin to put this uh, tunnel ram on there. Here we're taking the body and we're going to put it in the embalming fluid. Let's move it around in there and get it completely coated because we don't want any of that green to show through. And we'll let it set for a while to remove that paint. <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell to be alerted to any future videos that come out. There we go, we'll let that set for a while. Let's move on. After we let it set for a while, I painted the body with this Tamiya Surface Primer. This primer is really good stuff, folks, but you only got to put a little bit on to make sure that your paint that you're putting over it has something to bite onto. With this car here, we're going to use the Createx line of paints. Now, Justin told me that the car was kind of like a metallic maroon, so we're going to put down this aluminum base to get the color to show through. We'll mix it up with a little bit of balancing clear and we'll spray that aluminum on. Here with the Createx balancing clear, it's a 10% mixture. So once I get this all shaken up and put it into the mixing cup, I'll put about 10% of that balancing clear with there, mix it all up and then put it into the spray gun. Here I'm using this Grex spray gun, and man, I'll tell you, I absolutely love this gun. Now I'm doing an extended review on it, and then I plan on doing a video on it just to show all you folks the gun and how well that it works. But that'll be coming up in the very near future. But I've been using this gun now for about a month, and it's absolutely fantastic. And it's really good for these heavier paints like the Createx and the Chroma Air, etc. Get yourself a really nice coat, but you don't want to saturate it too much. Now what's really cool is you can see the aluminum sparkle in there. So when I spray a candy color over the top of it, that aluminum sparkle is going to show through. Now right now, I'm using the air to dry that Createx paint so I can put a little bit more down. A little later. I've let it sit and dry up for a while. That looks excellent. Really nice uh, coat and cover. 
Now we'll be able to go through and put the Createx candy color over the top. Let's go ahead and move on and we'll get that started also. Here I'm using this candy pigment. Now I've had this paint for a while. They've got the candy 2O colors, but this is apple red. Now it's a very dark red, kind of like a, like on a Macintosh apple. And of course we're going to mix it with the balancing clear, and that's a 10% mixture. So shake it up really good, get your paint mixed, and then get it into the gun to spray. Again, take your time, do some light coats here, inside and out. Look how nice that goes on. Now what's really cool about this airbrush that I'm using is you'll notice that there's a trigger down below versus a, uh, a button trigger up on top. You pull back a little bit and there's just your air. When you pull back farther, that's what pulls the needle back. Now this is a 0.5 needle in there, which is what's recommended for these heavier Createx paints and the Chroma Air paints, etc. And I'm using about 30 pounds of pressure. I let that set for a while, but this is uh, this is it right now. It will start to to uh, matte finish when it dries up completely, but that's looking fantastic. Let's move on. Here's the base. We're going to go ahead and cut these Johnny Lightning wheels off. Now, Larry's car has baby moon hubcaps, and I looked all over the place for ones that were suitable to put on the car. Now, they do have baby moon hubcaps on trucks and stuff like that. Here, we're going to change out the top of the engine with this tunnel ram manifold, and this was made up by Bearcat 3D Designs. This is the manifold that we took off. I'm going to save that because it looks pretty darn cool. Whoop, drop that. But uh, Grizz did a fantastic job, so check him out at Bearcat 3D Designs. Here's the wheels I switched out. I took them off a 34 Ford Hot Rod. I wish I had the, the um, Baby Moon hubcats to, to replace on this car, but I couldn't really find suitable ones. So I talked to Justin, and this is what I came up with. And they look really cool. Hey, Larry, maybe you need to ditch the baby moons and get you some new wheels. Only kidding, brother. That's looking really good. We'll have to get the Molotov chrome pen in there to uh, paint that. Here he had some pinstriping on the sides of the car. We put that on there with the paint pen that I had. Here's the base with the wheel swap and the radiator put back on. Those look fantastic. I had to cut the axle in the middle and then slip them in on either side and then glue them into place. But that looks good and they roll really nice. Here's the engine, we put that back together. We got the Molotov chrome pen in there. Here's the windshield, we'll put that in. And here's the interior, I went ahead and I plugged up the holes with some putty and painted it up. Let's put it back together and have our reveal. Meanwhile, back in the graveyard. And this is what we started with, a 1923 Ford T-Bucket. This is a really nice car and a really nice base to start with. Larry's car is absolutely beautiful, and I really hope that he enjoys the build that we came up with for him. The, uh, the car is fantastic, and it's going to make a great gift for Christmas for Larry. Um, his son Justin, like I said, contacted me to do a car for him, and I think that we definitely captured the car for him, and I, I really believe he's going to be pleased with this. And here's the result. What a beautiful, beautiful tea bucket. I hope that, like I said, Larry is happy with this car. This turned out fantastic, and man, what a sweet ride it must be. I would love to go for a ride in that car. If you happen to be up in the Massachusetts area and you see this car going down the street, you know exactly who it's going to be. But I'm very proud of this build and I think it's going to make a wonderful Christmas gift for our friend Larry. Please leave your comments and your thumbs up. Um, I sure do appreciate everything you do here for me by watching the videos and everything. And um, this car has definitely been a lot of fun to build. Now, there's only one thing that could make this a little bit better. Here we've made a custom card. Shiler's Garage. 
Larry's 23 Ford Tea Bucket. This uh, puts the final sweet touches on this car, and this is going to make a fantastic memento for Larry to uh, have next to his car. And, and like I said, I really hope that he enjoys it, and I really believe he will. If you'd like something done by me, just contact me in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. I'd like to introduce you to my Patreon team. Grim Reaper Level, William K7 Robinson, Dale Johnson, Matt Miller, and new member Andre Triplett. Mortician Level, Air Warrior Coffee Company, Jake Rademacher, Jason Warren, Ricky Montavo, and Sam Pascal. Funeral Director, Diecast Sheriff on YouTube, Double B's Customs on YouTube, Dave Christensen, Todd Binney, Ryan Goldstein, new member Mid-Island Custom Diecast on YouTube. Gravedigger Level, Aaron Murphy, Andrew Hitchens, Bob DeNice, Chris Decker, Grizz Flowers, John Holman, John Sellers on YouTube, Johnny and William Hicks, Keith Kripe, he's got a great build coming up, Leroy, Les Jenkins, Michael Oxley, Richie Ramos, Stacy Wright, Trevor DeViz, and new member Donald Rashik. Paul Bearer Level, Daryl Begtel, Gary Tasker, and Milesium 487. Hearst Drivers, Adam Bowen, Diecast Pirate, Jason Saylor, Jim Silva on YouTube, Joe Pierce, Pete Langford, Pin Tony, Richard Reese, Michio Woods Garage on Facebook. Check out his Facebook sales for Hot Wheels. Somo Diecast on YouTube, Scott Turner, Steve Terrence, Tony Hughes, Wade Hendricks, Devil's Decals Diecast on YouTube, and new member Randy Helsel. Thank you. The link to join Patreon is in the comments. I sure could use your help. Check out SprayGunner.com. That's where I got all my paints to use for this build. They've got a complete line of paints and airbrushes and compressors, etc. Check them out at SprayGunner.com. My name is Paul with Diecast Graveyard. I want to say Merry Christmas to you folks and thanks for watching. Cheers.